Okay, so again, um, people keep telling me that I'm paranoid or that, you know, I worry too much or, you know, all of this stuff. Like, you know, that thing that, like, is in the ocean over there, the largest, longest living organism? Um, you know that that was why um, urine, like a jellyfish, did, uh, you know, cured it uh, last year um, for a little while. Um, and then salt, like, it has to dehydrate itself to be smaller. Um, it's also kind of like a bamboo. Bamboo shoots out kind of like um, the flatworms, um, but kind of like a, um, what, what, like a hookworm, uh, but like bamboo, like, the boom, 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 like, pew, 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 pew. and then like the hookworm type deal where it'll go like a thorn and it'll flip around like that, like it flips back and then it closes and goes in and goes in and goes in and goes in, like those weird dolls. Um, it, um, uh, <sighs> salt dehydrated it the antibacterial for some of it but uh it had to come all the way to the surface um and every body is different um that's why doctors don't um like they're they they do not do medicine or anything like that like they practice but then again like i said before there's a difference between um like practicing and side effects and intentionally knowing and causing harm um, because, um, like right now, and this is why, this is the only reason, because I was warned and told that I needed to stop suing everybody. Well, I already made deals with a lot of these places when I was in high school and that real criminally insane girl who wouldn't give out her name. Um, and they swapped the, um, when we, when it was on a tape and then they went upstairs at Acadia hospital, um, because they were trying to do a final test that, so I didn't have to be constantly, um, having been tested for ADHD and after being in the hospital so long, um, you know, a real hospital, not a mental hospital, um, being quarantined from out outside contaminants because of my, um, my blood healing people. Um, uh, um, they, you know, I had legitimate reasons to be depressed. It's not a chemical imbalance. Um, you can't, like, and everything that I have said, but in everything that I didn't say, um, was used against me and was publicly disclosed. Um, and then the problem is, is my brother, my brothers, my group of people, the person that raped me when I was in high school, my sister kept asking who it was. Well, there was a reason why I never said his name and it has to do with the doubles. And that's why my brothers were smart enough to know not to fucking hurt anybody without me talking to somebody. Um, like being there, identifying who it is. But now we have this whole mind swap shit and people are getting going into other people's bodies thinking that it's just a fucking simulated game or fucking um like a like a technological like fucking sims or something and all these people that are having these fucking um implanted chips um body sensors like my phones do not work without body sensors what the fuck is a body sensor doing hooked up to my phone like jojo signed consent for all the treatments, JoJo and Christopher Phaneuf and Will Hubble, um, uh, I don't know if he actually signed consent, but he was at, at there that day, um, and that's the problem is, you know, I'm the only person that ever stuck up for him, and that motherfucker hates me, um, she, she knew what she could do, she knew that she could, because of all of his operations, um, like when she said he couldn't take pain medication, what the fuck, is he trying to be a Scientologist? Like, but she can drink and she can do fucking cocaine and fucking Will has a problem with drinking, which I'm sorry, but you know, I'm sorry to just close up. But you know, she has the ability to turn this on and off because it says right in it that it can cause addiction. They can force people to be addicted. Now there's another big difference is I am addicted to these drugs on a cellular level. Um, and I have legitimate fucking excruciating pain. These girls got records of my my lab results for drug screens um, since uh, like my whole life pretty much. Um, I learned from my sister's friend who was a nurse, uh, Kirstie at Winniport Family Medicine that um, went long term being on, and then I researched it and it's true, long term Vicodin use because then when they stopped me from being on my um, my 512s and my 512s and my Dilaudid and my um, uh, uh, 512s, my Dilaudid, and uh, my oxycodones, um, and my morphine or whatever one they put me on that week, because I had fentanyl patches, which they also didn't know that if you, you weren't supposed to cut them, 
Um, when you cut them, it seeps out and seeps into the skin and can cause overdoses. Um, now, I had had two patches on every day. I, they cut them, and I had a half a patch in the front of my knees and one on the back of each knee. And I was only about 87 to 97 pounds. Um, I ate everything in sight, but my, my metabolism, my body was going so fast to fight it off. Um, but these girls got this records illegally, and this is why at Acadia Hospital, when um, I was released the second time, um, because the first time they told me that I was given a Jeffrey, like from get it into the Greek, um, of all my allergies and um, a lethal 